Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvarin. Here's a brand new Halacha for you. It's for Sunday, the 22nd day of September. Here we go. This is Chol HaMoed. And on Chol HaMoed, you know that the general laws are that it mostly feels like, malacha-wise, work-wise, it feels like a regular day to you. But it also has a Moed sense to it in that we don't do works that are unnecessary. Um, like an example would be if you just want to build something for the heck of it, you really shouldn't be doing that on Chol HaMoed. Chol HaMoed is supposed to be Moed, um, but it also doesn't have like Shabbos laws, so you could flick lights on and off. The basic rule is that you do just those minimal works that you need to get done for the holiday. If you need to get in a car because your family needs to go shopping, um, then you get in the car and you go shopping. And that, that's kind of the loose, quick, too quick way of explaining Chal HaMoy. Let's quickly get to how to shake your Lulav and your Esrog. They're shaken, I'll give you the Ashkenaz way. Um, they're shaken in six directions, both Ashkenaz and Svard. Shake the Lulav in six directions, but the Ashkenaz rotation works like this. You face east and you shake the Lulav three times in front of you, which is east. And it's kind of clockwise. It's kind of easy to remember. So it's front of you, then to the right of you. I don't know if that looks backwards on your screen, but it's to the right of you three times, and then behind you three times, and then to the left of you three times, and then up three times, and then down three times. That's Natilas Lulav, the shaking of the Lulav. What's the idea? The general thinking is two, two explanations are given. One is that we are pointing to all the different directions that God is at. Um, he's everywhere, but six directions is our way of saying everywhere. And another one is to say that when we have the four species together, we, as God commands, we are able to ward off any evil um, attacks or spirits or anything like that that could be bothering us. And so we point in the directions to ward off those things from us, from all the directions that they could come from. That's the general two explanations for the Nanuim, the shakings of the Lulav and the Ezra. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.